Good morning. Um, I just want to say that I struggle to... The Lord put oh, just such a burden to actually share the words I've been going through the night. <clears throat> I didn't want to share these words. <laughs> I wanted to keep them to myself because I know will alienate anyone who reads them. But by some miracle, the Lord will enable you, I pray in Jesus' name, to receive this in the spirit, in the spirit that it's given. So I'm going to bring a few words. I just get that sense that People are seeking prophets to hear, you know, what um, tickles their ears. And what is tickling their ears is, um, you know, words of giants, um, aliens, um, demons, demoniacs, and so forth. And I know that the words that the Lord gives me um, are not popular. And I ask the Lord... You know, why is it that I don't see pathetically into um, what many, I believe, are the true prophets that are sharing um, the word with his people today? So, um, I, I, I'm hoping you understand what I mean. So, um, for all those who seek those sort of words, there's a wee tidbit at the end of this message. It's like a carrot. The Lord knows our hearts are wicked. The Lord knows that you will not receive and recognize what he wants to say into your spirit. You just want, you want to lay hold of, um supernatural mysteries um, the dark satanic realm but to survive these end times you need to be receiving in your spirit and it bypasses the intellect it bypasses the mind the spirit is not the mind the, the spirit is the mind of Christ okay so please be filled with the spirit as you watch and hear this word here we go our faith is perfected in love not charity all that remains and the greatest of these faith hope and love is love charity is a twisted form of works he is preparing his scriptures this is Satan for his new doctrine to capture the sleeping believers he needs God <clears throat> he relies on God for everything he is nothing without God. He exists because of God. God has allowed this to test our faith, to push us into his corner. It is all, of, it is all for us, <laughs> the refining of the saints as gold. He, he Satan, is inconsequential for the greatest work of God is the transformation of the saints into Christ's image once we spoke in the tongues of angels and men now we speak in the tongues of God the word we are his word on earth though they run to and throw, God has a plan for salvation. His last day's hope.
harvest will hear God's word through us, in us, and upon us. He has this. Selah, rest. And then the Lord gave me another word, which I'll share. Teachers don't fly. Prophets and evangelists do. Jesus never apologized for who he was. He came to serve. And I know, and know, oh, sorry. He came to serve and knew who he was. You know, you are an eagle. You have overcome by waiting on me. You practice my presence. You want to be with me. Your life has been tested and you have been found worthy. Worthy to represent me, the King of Kings. <laughs> Your crown is coming and everyone will see the light rise and shine on you. Your glory of me, your worship of me, your manifestation of me. Oh, your voice cries out in the wilderness in the spirit of Elijah and you have the Elijah anointing. You're extreme, extremely me. Extremely anointed and appointed to those I care for, call and crown along with you. They will recognize you because you recognize me. The voice you hear are but for a time. I rise up prophets no one sees yet like you. Now the Lord is saying me. And I hear you say, oh, she's proud, she's arrogant. Ha! The Lord started this word with, Jesus never apologized for who he was. He came to serve. And he knew who he was. Someone like this. Cleck is, Jonathan Cleck is a harbinger. Do you hear him bring your message? Yes, he has relationship. But does he have him defeated? No, you do. Talking, um, of me and eagles that he rises up. My eagles do. You take the last missing link out. The one that wins this battle for the saints. Ignite a fire. Click does his part but he is not the fire and I have reread this word I don't usually reread my words I just speak them out but I've read reread this and the Lord reminded me that Clicks channel is called before the fire You are as all my eagles are radiant, light bright as the sun. No one will come to this light lest they be exposed. But by my grace, some do, and you will know by their fruit. Your recruits will show fruit. The basket of summer fruit in season, out of season, 
rain and fall under a uh, sorry winter and spring creative miracles all of them insufficient in this world but sufficient in mine says the lord kingdom dwellers high tower deliverers i only need a few <clears throat> because i am their power who can stand against these ones none nada naught till i take them home they stand they grandstand just wait and see i've hidden them they still hide even deeper than you the lord's telling me they are hiding even deeper than i am they follow me now in every way that i thought possible my thoughts are with them in them and are them my love is sufficient magnificent and made complete in them you are one of them sweet daughter you heard right it's probably the line why i didn't want to share it but the lord has showed me a double-minded man has no place in the kingdom of god and it ends with a word of encouragement for me that my family surrender and then the lord went on and blessed me with two dream interpretations which i have written i had two dreams and they're personal ones um well they're not i might share them but they are, are, are for my um my family here um my natural family not the ones i'm talking to now you the family of god so i need to move now to another word so last one and then i have the carrot okay who really has the freedom to grow none of you really you're all tied in some way shape and form to this world dead men walking that's about the only way to do it only then but that's a poor image seen through a veil that's about dead men walking that's about the only way to do it only then that's a poor image seen through a veil semantics um the important part of this entire word is that word semantics so remember the word semantics it's all about semantics of so many things i said to you my children that your toe is hurt on like how i can mean now and it has come and you don't see it the time is now the time has come semantics those of you who see this know they just know that when my daughter lisa says none yet some will see his coming when all along i said all will see there is nothing new under the sun just 
like the Tower of Babel. I scattered them and gave them each a different tongue so they can't so they could not unite one to another against me again. And I do it now. This is why you do not hear the word of the Lord, why there is a famine of the word. So they do not unite, not until I say, this is a reprieve, but not in the way some are saying, in the form of Trump. It is a sorting of the goats and the sheep who stumble and fall on the word from the Lord, who get tied up in semantics and intellect and dry up before me. They are like dry reeds and soak up nothing of the word in this day. So bereaved are they in their mourning, going to and fro, heads bowed but no anointing. Stomachs thrown up like Judas all over the ground, entrails for all my beloved to see. The awful truth that no one wants to see. The heart of man is wicked. They believe me not, so their hearts are not raised up. They still hope in this world. They still worship this world. Not for me, so you are against me. Like a gazelle leaps in the desert are the beloved of God. They do not source their energy from the things on this land, but the things of my spirit. That is why they lay down with the lion. That is why they make a friend of the one who comes to bring division. One. One is not part of this godly plan. But divided we stand is the plan of my unity. No shepherd puts a lion and a lamb in one paddock. No man raises up a serpent on a stick to bring deliverance of God but these ones. I showed you in Moses the standard that performed like a snake. He served, oh sorry, men, a man who murdered, but he served God. This is Moses, he's, he's talking about how he showed you Moses the, the standard that performed like a snake, the man who murdered, but served God. Saul comes to mind, of course, as well, and David, and up to others. Those who partake in my body and blood and question me not. How does one devour the body of their Christ, yet be strengthened in the blood? The pagan ritual, the religious covenant and sacrifice to the gods, small g, is to your God, Al. I just get that word that all things work for good for those called to the purposes of Christ Jesus in your story. So we all look for confirmation. I tell you the greatest confirmation is the scrambling in the word. The time is now. The word is slipping away from you under your nose. Do you panic? 
Not yet, but you will. And wildly you swing your bodies and knowing where and not knowing where to go. I am the living, breathing word alive and well in your midst. And you do not see. There is nothing new in under the sun. As you did not receive me, you do not receive the ones I send last. The final creations, creatures you don't recognize, discern and receive. Now I want to encourage, I've finished. <laughs> I want to encourage you to look up the meaning of the word semantics. And also I'm going to attach a video and I would like you to watch it. I watched this video after this word. So it confirmed what the Lord was saying about the word slipping away from you under your nose. The famine of the word. And I'm going to have to do this ad lib. Okay. So this is the carrot. It's not... It's not the most, it's different from I've, what I've ever had. I suppose it's similar to the picture I had of the sun eclipsed. I knew it was the sun because I could see it was yellow coming out from behind the black. Uh, that was a vision. Now, it, this is not about the eclipse of the sun. It doesn't bring a sense of urgency that that brings. In many ways, I believe it is for those outside of the will of Christ more, what I've got to share. There's less, it's less ominous than when I had the visit from the fallen angel in my heart and he released death. There's less ominous than that. And that is the darkness that will be around us on the three days of darkness. So it's less ominous than that as in, let's just say by ratio, my heartbeat was 180 after that experience. Well, when I woke from this vision slash dream, my heartbeat was 120. So I'll tell you what I saw. I saw like as crowded as a mall of people, but they were outdoors. And they were from just below their armpits up that I could see them and I could see the sky above them. And what It was a grey view. Everything was in black and white and grey. And what, how I can describe it was, you know, when you like, if you have got a crowded path walkway and everyone's walking in the one direction. What I was um, called to notice in this vision was that everyone was going in a different direction. Not just some moving forwards and some moving back. They were moving in, in every um, direction and crossing each other and just so tightly together. And I can just see all their shoulders and heads just moving. Um, and that that's the word too, moving to and fro. It's the famine of the word, but what was the panic was what was above them. So what I saw above them was a white sky, it was cloudy, and I saw a black ring, like a smoky, like a, I think a smoky ring, it was very out of focus, and, and it was black, but I felt that there was something white inside of it, and I knew it wasn't the darkness coming, because it was the other way around, like, otherwise it would be white with black inside it, like if it was uh, an eclipse, but this was black with white, a white ring inside. It was like a donut shape, and it was an alien. 
it was an alien ship of you know some sort and I'm, so I've never seen anything like that before oh, Lord has never given me pictures or visions like that before so he had the he 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 did he bless me by answering because I just wondered why I don't have anything like that to um to because this is what this is what grows your channels I'm not you know like God's not I mean I am actually now really disappointed that I found out that there's people that are more hidden than me <laughs> you know that's that's what I want to be I want to be one of those that. All creation cries out for the revealing of the sons and daughters. I want to be that one. I want to be in that number. And the Lord assured me that I am. But he still graced me with this picture. And I believe it's something we'll see. So I um, woke. And I had, and I do not have this. It was that ominous feeling. My heart was going fast. It was a fearful experience. Yet I was a bystander, and I th I feel I felt the heart race for the sake of those people who were moving in all sorts of directions, uh, not knowing what the, and it was not something that was in the sky that you looked up to. It was low, just above the tree line. It was placing its feet on the earth. So I just googled, and you can do it, so that's more homework. So I googled images, black ring. And yes, there are sightings, UFO sightings, of a smoky black ring. So more research. Anyway, 26 minutes, 27 minutes, like, bless you so much. Um, I sent um, a word out. Um to alert those prophets the Lord has shown me of the the Bible changes my heart is for the lost and what's being said now is that is it even worth me reading the Bible we cannot be in denial about this if we know because we know that the Bible is changing. We can't hide it. It's lack of faith to hide it. So we'll see what response what response there is. But um, I have to be faithful with the Lord has shown me. So please, I, I just pray you prayerfully examine um, um, what's out there about the word and um, Jesus never told us to kill we all know that we love our brothers we pray for them those who persecute and hate us we pray for them and we love them we love them we pray for their salvation and a lot of those people will defect. Seek the Lord as in what works he has for you. Your harvest. He will show you who they are. You may not have. It may not yet be the time as. Uh, it's not the time for me. I, I'm, I'm not. Um, I'm not reaping that harvest. But I definitely said to the Lord. Well, I definitely know what the Lord said to me when I saw him in the harvest. And he said to me, what will it take for you to follow me? And I've done all I can. I'm I'm going to follow him. I, I, have, I have been considered worthy. So um, don't take those words lightly when he says, what will it take? Because you're, you're, you're finding out what it will take. And face it head on. I know it's hard. Face it head on. It's nothing that the Lord Jesus has not been through. <laughs>